When you have employees, colleagues working remotely, virtually in their homes, or they're working in different offices around the world or around the country, don't forget how powerful it can be to send them something in the mail, to send them a surprise package. It could just be a handwritten thank you note or a special card to thank them that has so much more meaning and impact than just getting a quick thank you over an email. So make sure you do take that extra time to reach out and connect in different ways. And if you're doing an event, why not send your employees some fun survival items? If you're doing an all day meeting, a full day meeting, virtually on Zoom or whatever platform of your choice. I've been part of so many events where the attendees have all gotten survival packages. They've included everything from fun food items to snack on to keep you going throughout the day, fun drink items, fun props to engage in creative ways while you're meeting virtually. You can also just send these as thank you gifts to your customers, clients, to your employees, to your colleagues. For example, here's some fun things that I've been having a lot of fun with. Uh, and help whiteboard signs. These are awesome in the virtual world. You can write anything on them. You can say hello. You can say you're on mute, right? You can vote with these in a number. You can break down a number. You can turn it into interactive exercises. All sorts of things you could do with these. Or how about these? Just a quick little fun thing to send to your colleagues. A smile on a stick for those days when you're just finding it hard to find your smile. And yes, they do come in, I believe, six different shades. So there's one for everybody on your team. You can also get them a, a coffee mug, but not just any coffee mug. No, a coffee mug for these times. A you're on mute coffee mug. Who would not appreciate one of these? So look for opportunities to connect with your virtual teammates, with your virtual employees in fun ways by sending them something fun in the mail. And what about you? What have you sent to your virtual colleagues, to your virtual employees to engage in a fun way? What thank you gifts have you sent them? What have you put into a survival package for your virtual meetings? Leave a comment in the comment box so we can all learn from your experience. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, Inspiring Workplaces, please hit the subscribe button. Join our growing community as we talk about workplaces, virtual and otherwise, that rock.